this next section is uh, the premise of today's some of today's machine builders uh, using the idea of hand wrapped coils as a selling point uh, that is absolutely counterproductive. We live in a world of technology and there is absolutely no way I don't care if you're using a fishing rod with a drag on it or how you're doing it you cannot put you cannot wind wire onto a onto a coil with the correct precision that a computer can do it it just can't be done it has to have exactly the right amount of pull from the beginning to the end the layers have to lay directly beside each other it has to have enough stretch to where you're not you're not causing any uh, narrow spots but it needs to be consistent say if you set your machine at 10, 10 pounds worth of pull on your wire from the very first turn all the way through to the to the, to the final turn you've got exactly 10 pounds of pressure now what that does is it it stops the graveling sound because when you have wire that's been pulled at 10, 12, 15, 8, back and forth through the whole winding of a coil, it just chatters and rattles. It just is not smooth and consistent. The other thing that really burns me up is the fact that people are now going back to that old bell wire that's got the cotton wrap around it. Okay? Well, think about this for a minute. Say you were going to put Oh, just using the hypothetical number, say you're going to put 30 foot of wire on a coil. Let's just say, for instance, that this is your wire size, okay? This is your cotton size, okay? Well, the cotton is wrapped around the whole thing so you not only get the thickness of one piece of cotton around the wire you get another one over here and guess what you get one here and then you get one in the back so the time you wrap it all the way around you've got four pieces of cotton that thickens up the whole oversize of that wire. Now, if you were going to say, put using today's terminology, wraps, that's not even included in the language when you're wrap, when you're uh, turning um, coils or making electromagnetics. It's it's turns and layers. The word wrap, uh, you wrap a Christmas present. You don't wrap a coil. Okay, so you've got four pieces of cotton at say just hypothetical numbers uh, 10 well, I'm gonna make it a little bit bigger zero one ten thousand then you get your 24 gauge wire of 0, 2, 4 alright now times 4 gives you 40 thousandths you dig gives you 40 thousandths that you have to add to this now you got sixty-four thousandths worth of thickness for that wire. Do you think if your bobbin is big enough to hold non-cotton wrap, in other words, the the newer conventional polyover vinyl wire, once you do it with the copper wire, and you wanted to get, you think you're putting eight um, eight layers of wire on there? Guess what? Uh-uh. It ain't gonna happen because of the size. The size. You're looking for eight. You'll be lucky if you end up with six. And all this, the amount of wire is resistance. Okay? So cotton wrapped, hand wrapped coils is absolutely ridiculous. 
use it that's bell wire it's used in telephones it's used in doorbells things that are not critical our electromagnetic wire in our tattoo machines is absolutely critical the amount of pull how tight everything is how snug everything is and the snugger the tighter the better and you want to be able to get as much wire on your bobbin as you possibly can without hanging out over the edges so your imaginary eight just turned into six maybe because of the thickness of sixty four thousands with ten thousands here ten thousands here ten thousands on the back ten thousands over gives you forty thousands that's because the cotton is ten thousands in diameter when you add that to the twenty-four thousandths is the size of the copper wire you end up with sixty-four thousandths is the size of what you're rolling on that spool you're winding that on that spool you'd be lucky if you get four layers on that spool and what's that gonna do it's gonna make your machine weak and lazy okay so don't fall for the idea of this hand wrapping that's a that's a myth don't fall for the fact that cotton wrap uh, uh, bell wire or magnetic wire is the answer because it's the antichrist of wire that'll do it for this little demo